everyone, I'm Heba and welcome back. In this video, I want to try to do a holiday glam look. I'm going to try. I'll be using this palette by Byredo and it's the Fet Noir palette. It's the new one that he came out with and I'm a little nervous with it because it has a lot of dark shades in here. And frankly, I hope I can figure out how to use this palette because it's kind of scary looking for me. I was really impressed with the other palette that I've used by Byredo, Corporate Colors. And the other one is Metal Boots in the Snow and I haven't tried that one yet. The holidays are here. Maybe this might be a good palette to try for the party for New Year's Eve, date night, or just going to Walmart like, like I do. <laughs> when I bought the two palettes, I also bought a couple of lipsticks and some eye pencils, so hopefully I'll be able to use those. I'll try to see if I can work in the eye pencil that I have. I know one of the lipsticks for sure, but let's go ahead and talk about this eyeshadow palette. Fet Noir is a limited edition eyeshadow palette and it's a harmony of five deep shades of black and five unique finishes. Housed in a limited edition gunmetal version of our treasured raindrop compact, the long-lasting, non-creasing formula gives perfect coverage with rich color payoff. Lightweight, creamy, and blendable, especially with the fingers, Fet Noir is a multi-dimensional spectrum of anti-color. So you can see why I'm a little scared using these shades. Here's the one that I have, Corporate Colors. Let me put it up against Fet Noir. Kind of like the gunmetal. Very classy. I did a video using this palette, Corporate Colors, but let's concentrate on this one. This palette costs $70 US, and let's go ahead and swatch it, because I want to see the shades and see what I can do with it. Let's go in with the first shade. No, this is very creamy, kind of consistent with the other palette that I've tried. Now these pan size are small for my big fingers. Let's see if we can get a lot of color on my finger. This is Gothic in Intense Matte Black. Okay, it doesn't look very intense from the first swatch. Let me try to build that up. Okay, it is smooth, I'll give it that, but I don't see it intense, from at least from the swatch. This is Wrath in Matte Black with Shimmering Silver Glitter. I do see some glitter in there. I can see a little hint of blue in this shade. I'm curious about this middle shade, which is Mystery, I believe that's how you pronounce it, a metallic golden gray. Ooh, I like that one. I can also see some blue in this one too, kind of like a gunmetal shade. Eternity is a scintillating deep gray. That one is a funny swatch. I think it's just from the pan size. Let me see if I can blend that out. The last one is Whisper, a top coat with luminous black glitter. It's not bad. I can see some silver in there, but it's kind of chunky. But anywho, here are the shades in Fet Noir, and yeah, you can see why I'm a little nervous about this palette. Before I put the primer in my eyes, I'm going to put tape underneath my eyes, because I think I need a little guidance with this look. Alright, prime my eyes with the Hourglass eyeshadow primer and put the tape. This is just first aid tape. Let's go in with this first shade, Gothic, which is the Intense Matte Black, and I'm going to use a pencil brush. And I'm just going to line the outer corner and my lash line. Now I kind of have to admit that this is not very intense, which is good, but let's see if we can build it up. Just going to kind of blend it up. I have to say that this shade is a little patchy. Let's just keep going. Maybe it's the brush. Let me try a different pencil brush. Let me go in with the refer number 12. Okay, I think it was the brush. I don't know, let me try it on the other side too. Maybe it was the brush. Because the brush that I used before was the one by Sonia G, and it's the Pencil Pro. Okay, let's just keep going. It's looking a little bit better now. Instead of using the shade as a liner like I thought I was going to do, it just kind of creeped up higher, but I didn't make it go all the way to the crease. Now let's go into the second shade in Wrath, which is a matte black with a shimmering silver glitter. Using the same brush, the same pencil brush, I'm just gonna pack that in the outer corner. This had a little bit of glitter, very minutely small glitter. This one's a little bit more intense than Gothic, so I need to be careful with this. Now I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush with no product on it. This is the Detail Pro by Sonia Jean. Just kind of blend that part, the top part out. Now I want to use this middle shade here. Hopefully that will brighten up this look. And this one is Mystery, which is a metallic golden gray. And let me place that in my in the center of my lid all the way up and let me go ahead and bring that to the inner corner too i think i went a little bit too high on this side let me try to blend that out let me go in with the number seven by yano series and let me just blend that kind of up a little bit higher in my crease 
think I need to go a little bit more with the pencil brush because I think it's kind of skipped right here. I'm just going to come out a little bit more to the outer corner. Actually, I didn't dip back into the shade with this pencil brush. I'm just using what's left on it. Wow. Let me try this shade, Eternity. And this one's the Crease Pro by Sonia G. And I'm just going to place that in the outer corner. Not in the outer corner, but just in between this gray shade and the black shade. Ooh, I like that color. Well, let's go ahead and go in the outer corner with this shade. I kind of like this one. I'm just going to put a little bit of Whisper. Just a little bit, because this is a little chunky for me. I'm just going to place that in the center. You can see small particles of the silver there, but I'm not putting a lot. I'm just going to kind of keep blending the upper part here, just so it will look a little polished. Don't see any fallout with these shades that I used. I'm going to try one of his Kajal pencils. I did pick up three of them, and the one that I want to try is this one, Shanti. Shandy. Chandy. Here is the box, and the same concept. You open it up. And what I like about it is that it does come with a pencil sharpener. And he says that this pencil sharpener is made with recycled material, which is good. But here is the pencil, and I did get it in silver, and it does come with a sharp point. Wow. So this shade is limited edition, and it costs $30. And what I want to do with it is maybe use it for the inner corner. Let me just try it. First, let me swatch it. Oh, that is pretty. That could hopefully brighten up the look. So let me apply it to the inner corner here. It's very creamy. Just use my finger to blend it out. Okay, what do you think? Did it brighten it up a little bit? It does have some shimmer to it. I like that. I don't know if I can use this one in the waterline. Now the other two shades I did get is the brown one and a navy blue one. I didn't pick up the black one. I don't know why I didn't pick up the black one, but we'll see how these work and if it's very creamy. Maybe I might get it, but it just can never replace my $3 essence black eye pencil. Uh, yeah, that one's my favorite. Okay, I think that brightened this look up. Oh, I do like it. Let me show you the other two shades. This one is Bora Bora, and this is a brown shade. That's Bora Bora. The other pencil is Nila Nila, and this one's a navy blue, and I've wanted to try a navy blue pencil, and I figured this one might be a good one to try, because I do like that shade. I don't think navy would work with this look or the chocolate brown shade, but the silver one that I put in the inner corner is working. And they all come with a pencil sharpener, which is really good. Now since I still have the tape on, I'm going to line my lids with a liquid liner by NARS. It's nice to have that tape there to guide me. All right, I think that will be about it. So let me go ahead and take this tape off. Don't see much fallout, it's just from my fat fingers right there. But let me go ahead and clean up, put a little face makeup on, and I'll come back and do underneath my eyes. Now let's go underneath my eyes, and the foundation that I use is the one by Chanel, the Sublimage Foundation. I do need to bronze it up a little bit, but let's go underneath my eyes, and what should I use? I'm gonna go in with this first shade, Gothic, and using the brush that was in the Dose of Colors palette, and let's just use this for underneath my eyes and let's see how it work. That glammed it up a little bit, but let me go further. Let me go in with this shade, Eternity, the one that's a little bit more blue. Let's just put it in the outer corner for now. Like we've all said, it's just makeup. If it doesn't work out, you don't like it, you can just wash it off. Now let me go in with my favorite pencil, the one by Essence, and I'm going to tight line it in the top lash line. I don't know what I'm going to do the water line yet. Tight line the top. And also let me just bring it to the lash line, the lower lash line. Just the outer corner. I don't know if I should go in with a black in the water line, or should I go with like an off-white? And I don't want to put the silver one in my waterline because I think that would just be a little too much for me and probably too glittery. I do have another Essence pencil and this is in the shade Silky Nude. Let me just try it on one side. That brightened it up, made my eye bigger. Let me go ahead and put it on both sides and we'll go from there. I can always add black to it. 
Let me go ahead and finish putting the rest of my makeup on and do my hair and we'll try one of the lipsticks. And we'll see if the nude color will work in the waterline or do I need to go over it with a black eye pencil? All right, you guys, what do you think? Minus the lipstick, what do you think? Keep in mind, I still have the nude eye pencil in my waterline. And after I kind of finish everything up, I'm gonna put the black just to kind of see the difference. As I was finishing my makeup, I wanted to go back in with this silver pencil and put a little bit more in my inner corner there, especially on the bottom. Add a little bit in the inner corner Especially in the lower lash line. How does that look? See a difference? I'm trying not to make my eyes tickle because whenever I do that, it just makes my eyes watery. That's why I don't put much in the inner corner. Yeah, now it's starting to water. <laughs> All right, I think I'm gonna stop it there. <laughs> but yeah, I can already feel my eyes starting to water. Let me let you know what I put on my face. Of course, this is the Chanel So Blumage Foundation. It's in the shade B40 and B70. With the Clay de Peau Stick Concealer in the shade Buff and Hazelnut. And the bronzer that I used is this one by Gucci in the shade number four. The blush is this one by Cicely Paris. I know it's expensive, but it's a beautiful brush. A blush. And it's the Orchid Rose 2. Beautiful pink shade. Also has a little bit of a shimmer there. I think this look needs some shimmering blush. And the highlight, of course, is this one by Hermes. This beautiful highlight. And yeah, it does give me a little glow there. Let's go ahead and try the lipstick. And I think this look needs a nude lipstick. And I hope one of the two that I picked out would work with this look. But this one is Amber and Furs. And here's the box. Very similar to the others. Again, has that slide out drawer. It comes in a case. Now this lipstick bullet is a funky shape. It kind of looks bent. But this lipstick costs $42, and this is the first time I've tried one of his lipsticks. It comes in the skinny shape there, and it has that V engraved on the tip, which I'm sure will be gone soon. It has like a pink shimmer to it. I don't think I have anything like this. Let me swatch the other one that I got. I think that one's a little bit more deeper. The other one is Worship Her. That's what Worship Her looks like. Ooh, I like this one. Oh, look at that. Oh, let me swatch it better than that. Yeah, a little bit better swatch. Oh no, which one should I try? Well, let me try both of them. As much as I like this shade, it's very pretty, but with this look, I think we need to go in with this light shade. Let's try Amber and Furs. Oh, I like this color. Very shimmery. I do need a lip pencil for sure, but I kind of like this. Amber and Furs is a warmly shimmering nude. A shimmering finish reflects light and adds depth. Ooh, I like this shade. And I definitely need a lip pencil, but not bad. Yeah, I think if I try this lipstick, it's not gonna work with this eye look. Because I need the focus to be on the eyes, not on the lips. But that is a beautiful brown shade. Very nice, and I believe this one's a matte finish. And it does come with a magnetic closure. That's pretty cool. And I noticed that you can kind of change the shape of the lipstick. Instead of a semicircle, you can make it like a little S. You can switch it up. There's one side, and there's the other side. I don't know, that's pretty cool. Let me come up close so you can see everything. So here is the eye look, and yeah, I probably went a little too much with the inner corner there, but it did kind of brighten it up. It's pretty shades though. And then here's the lip shade up close. First of all, this is how it looks like with a nude eye pencil in the waterline. And that opens up my eyes. Now let me go in with the black pencil. Let me just try it. It's kind of hard with the mascara already on. Here's one side with the black, and this is the nude. You can go either way. I think I prefer the black. That's just my preference. Let me go ahead and do the other side. All right, and here are both eyes with the black eye pencil and the waterline. I think I like the black. That's just my preference, like I said. But the new pencil did make my eyes look bigger. But I just prefer the black. Let me see if I can find a lip pencil. I think I found one. This is by Charlotte Tilbury, and this is Hot Gossip. I think that one would work. Yeah, I tried using other pencils to see which would work. But so far, I think I like this one. Yeah, add a little bit more lipstick. Well, all right, here's the finished look using the Fet Noir palette by Byredo. Let me know, guys, what you think. No matter what, I take constructive criticism very well. But just be nice about it. <laughs> but for me, I kind of like it. I do like using that silver pencil in the inner corner just to kind of brighten this look a little bit. Even though I did kind of mess it up and I can see my eyes are a little watery in the inner corner here. And it did kind of come off. <laughs> A little bit here in the inner corner. So I don't put too many shades in the inner corner of my eye because it does make me make my eyes watery. And I kind of like it with a black eyeliner in the waterline. Yeah, I think I like it better there. The black matte shade was a little patchy, but I believe that was just from using a different brush. So whenever I changed it out, it was blending out very nicely. And it's not as intense as what 
he says it is. Which is good. Like I said, it's easy to build up than it is to take away. And the formula of these eyeshadows, they blend it out nicely. It's not looking too thick on my lids. Metallic shades is very smoothing on my lids and still has that wow factor. Now it does have very small particles of glitter in there, but at least it's not chunky. I do like the eye pits. I also like that it's thick and that it has a very pointy tip to it. I like that. But hopefully with the other palette, Boots in the Snow, when I try that, I can try to incorporate the other two shades, the brown one or that navy one. We'll see. Ooh. And the lipstick, I like the shade. It's very shimmery and I do like the color. And I think it kind of brings this look together. And I can't wait to use this deep brown shade. That's pretty. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you did like this video and enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this. And you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.